A company has launched a battery swapping service for electric motorcycles, the first of its kind in Singapore. Evotion Labs has rolled out one battery charge and swap station at 1179 Serangoon Road, which is a motorcycle showroom and workshop owned by the company's backer Malpiti Ltd, an established motorcycle distributor. The second station at One North Crescent, where the headquarters of technology company Razor is located, will be ready in mid-June. These stations allow users to exchange empty batteries from an electric motorcycle for fully charged ones, a process that takes a few minutes. Evotion told The Straits Times that it will have 22 stations by the end of 2024 and plans to spend up to $4 million to expand to 400 stations in the next two years. Along with the swapping service, Evotion is selling the new NG GTS electric motorcycle, which has been approved by the authorities to use battery swapping technology in Singapore. Currently, fleet-owning companies can use the battery swapping service from Evotion. They can opt to have the swap stations installed at their own premises or use the ones set up by Evotion, which was incorporated in 2021. Individuals will be able to use Evotion's battery charge and swap stations when the company's application for the electric vehicle charging operator license is approved. Companies operating public charging points in malls are required to have this license. The Land Transport Authority LTA confirmed that Evotion Labs is the only company dealing with battery swapping for electric motorcycles to have applied for the license. LTA had introduced the rules governing battery charge and swap technology for electric motorcycles in March 2022 and allowed two companies to test out the technology here in 2023. One has completed its test with no plans to offer the service commercially, while another, by Taiwanese company Gagoro, is ongoing. Its permit to test expires in September 2024. Each new electric motorcycle carries two batteries and can travel up to 120 km on a full charge. The rider can opt to exchange either one or both batteries for fresh ones at the battery charge and swap station using a dedicated smartphone app. The charge and swap stations will only work with batteries that are officially supplied by Evotion Labs. As part of getting the approval from LTA, the electric motorcycles and board charger was removed. This means that the only way to get battery power is to swap batteries at the dedicated stations. Buyers of the electric motorcycles are also required to declare that they will not charge the vehicle through illegal means. It costs $8 to fully charge the two batteries when they are flat, nearly 6.7 cents per kilometer. The rider can swap the batteries at any stage for fresh ones. The electric motorcycle, whose performance is comparable to a conventional scooter, costs $17,500 to buy, including the Certificate of Entitlement COE. Maintenance cost for the electric motorcycle is expected to be lower than comparable ones with an internal combustion engine as there is no need for periodic oil change. A conventional scooter like the Yamaha Aerox costs around $15,000 with COE. At today's fuel prices, Using 92 octane petrol, the Yamaha will cost around 5 cents per kilometer. Experts consider battery swapping technology as a viable solution for electric motorcycles to get around the issue of spending hours to charge up, only to be able to travel a relatively short distance. Due to their compact size, electric motorcycles cannot carry batteries that are large enough to allow them to go further before needing to be plugged in again. Neo motorcycles have been sold in Europe for some time. Evotion spokesman said this meant that the brand had the required certifications to be approved for sale in Singapore, instead of having to commission new tests. He also said that the company will ensure that the battery charging and swapping system 
will be compatible for current as well as future models. Evotion spokesman told ST that the business is here for the long run and that users can trade in the new motorcycles to more PT LTD at fair market value in the unlikely event that the swapping service is stopped. As at the end of April, 0.2% of the motorcycle's 282 units on the road are electric compared to 2.6% for commercial vehicles, 3,696 units and 2.4% for cars 15. 713 units.